my name's Courtney and thank you so much West End Best Friend for choosing me as your super study for the month of October. I am incredibly honoured to be here and um, to be chosen for the month of October and I just think it's amazing how there is a platform out here now that highlights the work that understudies, alternates and swings do within our industry. I think that's great that it's being recognised and it's being put out there for everyone to see. So. Let's go back a few years. I graduated from Guildford School of Acting in 2017 and it was six months of audition until I managed to land my first job, which was the UK tour of Hairspray. And I was very, very lucky enough to be given the role as one of the nicest kids, Brenda, and also first cover Tracy, which with it being my first job, in the professional world, I was absolutely mind blown that I, I, I received a cover like this. Like it, it was it was amazing. And I absolutely loved every minute of playing that character. So before the tour began, all of us covers, we were allowed to choose two locations on where we could go on as our covers, which was insane because you you hear of stories of people that are covers or swings and they never get to go on so already this was a huge achievement in my mind that i will actually be able to go on as tracy turnblad in hairspray like what but yeah it was real and it was happening so i chose two locations one great for my family one great for my friends i mean don't get me wrong going in front of your family and friends for like the first time as a cover was, oh my God, my heart was racing, my heart was absolutely racing. But we had enough cover runs throughout the tour, we had enough time to go through everything. Kind of as soon as I got my script and found out who I was covering, I learnt the lines as soon as I could because as, as soon as I've processed that, I can start thinking about the other things, the blocking on stage, the songs throughout, the different harmony lines. So I thought, you know what, if I can get a solid block of the script, then that's one thing ticked off and one less thing I kind of have to like really, really think about because when you add everything else in, sooner or later it does become second nature. And that's what happened. As soon as we got to our cover runs, we did rehearsals bit by bit, different covers came in, we got used to one another. And yeah, it was a great experience for us all. It's fab to have different people on stage with you. So when it came to the usual cast being on and then one of his covers going on it does switch things up a little bit and really keep everyone on their toes which is such a, a fab feeling and everyone's excited for the covers yeah it's just it's just a really nice feeling so as soon as you got into cover runs and as soon as covers started to go on it all started to fit into place what we were doing and even though our contract was only a short period of time I got to go on quite a bit and I was really grateful for that that I that I was able to go on so much and I learned so much from other people in the cast that have been in the industry a lot longer than me and I took all of their top tips with me into each contract that I've been in since Hairspray ended so the next show that I went into after Hairspray was Mythic the Musical at Charing Cross Theatre in London and I was cover Aphrodite and also dance captain which overall was a huge learning curve for me. I very much, when I began the contract, kind of doubted myself at first. I've never been a dance captain before in a professional production. It was my first time and I did doubt myself, I'm not going to lie. But to anyone out there that has been given the role as dance captain for the first time or has given the role as a cover for the first time and kind of doubting themselves maybe in a way, I've got to say, they would not have given you this if they didn't believe in you. After Mythic, I went on to perform in the UK tour of Club Tropicana. So I was cover Andrea and Lorraine, which was once again a new learning curve because I'd never been two covers before, so this was a completely different scenario I was stepping in, and the girls that were playing these characters were fab, so if I had any questions at all, they were fab, they were so open, but yeah, when it came to learning the blocking for these two, because they had a couple of songs together, and they were quite near each other most of the time, I stood 
in the wings or at the side of the stage or if there was a TV backstage, I would stand there, watch that and make notes. Because I don't know, I, I find that like, sometimes I can be like, oh yeah, I know where they stand. And then you do a cover run and there's like so many people on stage and you're in a different part of the stage completely to where you usually are. So yeah, I really, I really kind of had to concentrate on that because they were so close together. And yeah, I just didn't want to stand in, in the wrong character's place because no one wants to do that. So yeah, I did really have to watch them at the side of the stage and, and, and sometimes write it down in the script as well if there was a part that I knew that could maybe trick me. But I mean, saying that, everything was fab. And yeah, everyone, like always, like every shirt, when a cover goes on, everyone is so supportive. So anyone that is wanting to go forward and audition as well to be a cover or to be swing or anything like that, like my advice is do it because it's such a great experience. It's so much fun and it's so rewarding at the end of it as well. But yes, thank you so much West End Best Friend for having me as your super study for October. I'm sure I've rabbited on for five minutes and thank you for those that are still interested and still watching. I hope you are all well. I hope you're all keeping safe and hopefully I shall see you all soon.